What is your patriotic opinion? Leave us a comment below. Japan sends surprise to U.S. fleet in massive show of support for President Trump. Japan just sent a strong message to the rest of the world. That despite the liberal media's attempts to sow chaos all is well and good, and they support President Trump and America. And are ready to take action to prove it. Advertisement Allies are important as President Trump knows and if you listen to the media all you will hear is that Trump makes our allies nervous. Not true, Trump has a great relationships around the world. And after North Korea threatened to attack Guam, Japan proved their loyalty. Japan's new defense minister came out today and said he stands with Trump and added a special surprise for our Pacific fleet that is in harm's way should any missiles fly. Advertisement he said that his country's military could shoot down the missiles before they reach Guam. Japan said they will activate its Aegis Destroyer Missile Defense System, Defense Minister Itsunori Onodera told the National Diet, Japan's parliament in response North Korea's threat. According to Reuters, a spokesman for the Korean People's Army, KPA, threatened. The KPA Strategic Force is now carefully examining the operational plan for making an enveloping fire at the areas around Guam with medium to long range strategic ballistic rocket Hwasong 12 in order to contain the U.S. major military bases on Guam, including the Anderson Air Force Base. Japan responded by reminding the world that any attack against Guam is a threat and attack against Japan and cited Japan's mutual defense agreement with America as just one of the reasons they will stand with America. Japan sits about 620 miles to the east of North Korea and they have been watching the growing threat seriously. Most of the missiles North Korea tests land in the Sea of Japan which as they say is too close for comfort. Sadly, Obama and Bush and the rest of the establishment sat on their hands and did nothing so now Trump has to clean up the mess. It is a national disgrace what they have allowed to happen. Guam lies about 1,600 miles south of Japan and opting to include that island under its missile defense protection is a welcome change. Japan had previously said they would only shoot down North Korean missiles if they were aimed at Japan. But with this new defense policy the civilian government will officially allow Japan's military to defend U.S. territories and other their allies in region in the event of North Korean missile attack. This is justice. Criminal illegal alien leeching welfare for 20 years gets deported to Mexico. If you ask the lying lefties about the immigrants, they will say that they are the most innocent people that ever lived on this planet. They will add how they are not violent and that they do not represent a threat to the American society. They will say anything different from Trump's opinion all in order to make him look bad. That is why they attack the president about his decision to sign the travel ban. Well, the travel ban is actually the best thing that happened to this nation. Thanks to it. The real danger will no longer walk freely. Proud Patriots reports that a mother of four living in Ohio was deported to Mexico after a traffic stop exposed her for being illegal for nearly 20 years. According to reports by CBS News, 37-year-old Beatriz Morelos Casillas was arrested for driving without a license near Cleveland, Ohio. After the arrest, she was deported back to Nuevo Laredo one of the most dangerous places in Mexico. Her husband, on the other hand, has a legal working visa. He only wants his wife to be safe but also together with their other relatives he thinks that this is unfair. Christian Enrique Gutierrez Morelos and his wife, Sonia, are aching over the quick deportation of their Aunt Beatriz. Christian stated, she's scared, I believe she's more scared for her children than for her right now. Elizabeth Ford, an immigration attorney working on Beatriz's behalf, said, What happened to Beatriz was the direct result of the new administration and the policies that have been given to ICE. People with no criminal history are being told they have to leave the country in a very short amount of time when they've built an entire life here with children and houses and families and jobs. Thomas Homan, acting ICE director, responded, ICE prioritizes arrests based on criminal threats, national security, 
those who violate immigration laws. They defend her by saying how the woman is decent and didn't have any criminal history. Are you kidding me? She lives illegally in here for 20 years. She was even driving without a license. Are their relatives concerned about her children? I ask considering the fact of the careless position she put them in. General Mattis issues new orders to military, liberals jaws hit floor with loud thud. When President Trump appointed General Mattis to Secretary of Defense, he knew the man changed the way things work in America in regards to protecting this nation. The former Marine only has one concern in his life. He wants to make the U.S. military the biggest most lethal group in the world. It's a good time to ruin the world's bad guys and General Mattis is the person to do it. Advertisement That means eliminating everything that is wasteful. The sensitivity training needs to go because it doesn't make the military stronger. Secretary of Defense James Mattis has ordered a full review of any military training not directly relevant to war fighting. Mattis will make sure there is a review of everything that was put into effect, especially under Leon Panetta and the Obama administration. It will likely all be gutted. Advertisement I want to verify that our military policies also support and enhance war fighting readiness and force lethality, Mattis said. Mattis also asked for a review into what should be done about permanently non-deployable service members. For years the politicians have ruined the U.S. military. They wanted to make the military a social experiment. It's been horrible that they think it's appropriate to push political correctness and social policies that ruin the military ever seen on this planet. Our soldiers, airmen, marines, and sailors don't need to be bothered with sensitivity training. They need to know how to take orders, operate their weapons, and win battles. They don't have time to entertain the stupid notions invented by liberals who never served their country. The U.S. military is not a democracy. Nor is it a place for political nonsense. It is the single force that preserves our country and our freedoms. The America military will be prosperous again. It's too bad this didn't happen sooner. Breaking Trump fires shot heard loud and clear by every senior citizen in America. Every single senior citizen in America knows how expensive the costs of prescription drugs are. Just as every single senior citizen knows the real tragedy in America is that people who have paid into system all their lives, are asked to pay more when they finally try to redeem their already earned benefits. It is a scandal and I consider it a form of blackmail. For when you are sick or start a drug regime as you get older you got no leverage. Advertisement Even though you paid into the system your whole life, it is an unnecessary burden on a population that has already given everything and sacrificed much to keep the American dream going full tilt. They spent their lives contributing to furthering America and freedom. Advertisement They have fought wars, built businesses, and kept the trains running on time. They should be rewarded not screwed by greedy drug companies who are mainly responsible for the rapid increase and out-of-control costs for health care. Most Americans have no idea how much seniors pay out of pocket for the medicine they need to live a fuller life or just survive. It is a real scandal. Our medical system is the best in the world because we encourage innovation and profit. But it is also the most costly and we need to find a better balance, as Trump often pointed out on the campaign trail. The costs of drugs are too high, plain and simple. When you consider what they cost, the same drugs mind you, in Canada one can only come to the conclusion that the drug companies are ripping off American citizens. Trump has played nice so far but the behind the scenes he has been battling hard for Americans. After the Obamacare repeal debacle by the GOP Congress most thought Trump has given up on getting us a better deal on health care. Not a chance. Trump just tweeted. Now that Ken Frazier of Merck Pharma has resigned from President's Manufacturing Council, he will have more time to lower rip-off drug prices.
Alaskan Bush Peoples Reveal Ami's Cancer Prognosis, Please Pray. Ami Brown from Alaskan Bush People is diagnosed with lung cancer. It was recently announced on the TV series that Ami has lung cancer which is in stage 4. On the latest episode of the TV series, fans got an update on her condition. Billy, Ami's husband, revealed how serious her condition is. TMN Today City's Billy, Ami's hurting pretty bad, he said during Wednesday night's episode. We're in for probably a lot harder road than we've ever faced. There's no doubt about that. Sheila McCormack, the executive producer, delivered the treatment news to the family on the show. TMN Today City's McCormack, so the radiation is five days a week for six weeks. After the radiation, once a week she goes to the other building and they put an four in her and she gets chemotherapy for four hours. Emmy only weighs 94 pounds as cancer made her unable to walk properly. McCormack also said that if she continues to lose pounds, a feeding tube will be inserted in her. Her 32-year-old son Bam is taking the news very hard. He said while he was hugging his mother, he felt how thin she was. TMN Today City's Bam, what's going on now is the most difficult thing we've gone through because of who it's happening to, because it's mom and because of what it is. It makes a house burning down or a boat sinking or needing five stitches no big deal. This is really difficult. I don't even know what to say. The Brown family is saddened by Ami's condition. However, they are fighting to save her life. In this case, they should be prepared for the worst case scenario. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. In 2012, cancer took 8.2 million lives worldwide. It is expected that this number will rise in the next 20 years. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Brown family during this hard time.